Welcome back to It's Natural. I received these flowers on my birthday and they're now all dry. You can hear that they're all dry. So I didn't want them to go to waste and decided I'm going to make an infused oil with these dry rose petals. So I'll be right back. I'm going to take them all off. It's really easy like that. It just came right off. So I'll be doing that and we'll be right back. I have now plucked all of the petals off of the stems and you do have an ample supply of rose petals. You can see this is one paper towel full and it's heaping. It's it's up here high, you can't really tell. But um, I got a good amount. I'm not going to use all of it. I'm going to use just um, probably a third, maybe a fourth of these. I'm going to use a glass container, one pint, and I'm also going to infuse it in grapeseed oil. Now I have my rose petals. I have one, my one pint glass container and some grapeseed oil. So what I'm going to do now is unscrew the lid and I'm going to break these apart because you want to allow the oils to come through. And I might not need that many. And you can see some of this is already still in the, uh, in the flower shape, which is okay. You can also use a mortar and pestle to break these apart. I'm continuing to break these apart and however much you want. Now as you can see if I push this down you can still fit a lot in there. I'm just going to tear these apart a little bit more. You want to make sure that your flowers are dry. When you're making this because you don't want your oil to turn out to have any type of mold or any bacteria roses are very uh rose water and or rose oil are very good for your skin and uh, the carrier oil that we're using the grapeseed oil is good for tightening your skin anti-aging properties good for those dark circles around the eyes. Now you, you don't have to use grapeseed oil. You can use almond oil which has the same properties. The only difference that I have found the grapeseed oil actually has tightening properties. The almond oil does not. You can use olive oil also. Now as you can see I've put quite a bit in here. And it still could use a little bit. And remember, this is a pint, gl uh, pint glass. So it's small. So I want to just add some more. Until the glass, is, glass container is full. I am making a little bit of a mess. And I'm putting all my mess into the container, as you can see. I do not want to waste any of this. Because I want to save some of my rose petals, I think I'm going to stop. Depending upon how much you want, like I said, you can push it down like that. And I could probably fit this, um, all these roses in here, but I'm just going to take a little bit more and that'll be it. I would like to use these rose petals for rose water. And it's a good spritzer for your face. Helps with the anti-aging. Okay. So I think that is going to do it for me. And all you do is we're going to 
if I can get this bottle open, we're just going to pour the grapeseed oil in and you want it fully saturated. So as you can tell, it isn't, uh, it is starting to sink through to the bottom. Pour a little bit more in there and let it, uh, let it sink through. I have a popsicle stick that I'm just going to sink down. You want to make sure all the air bubbles are out. And you want to make sure that all of the roses are fully saturated by the oil. Now, as you can see, the oil is not all the way filled up and that's what we want. We want the oil to be all the way to the top of our container. So I'm just going to continuously get the air bubbles out of here. And it looks like the rose petals are completely engulfed in, and saturated. And I'm going to add more. I use the rest of my bottle here. Okay, now we're going to just, uh, again, make sure all the air bubbles are out of here. And there's a few more air bubbles coming out. Now what you're gonna, going to do now is let this sit in the oil for approximately uh, six weeks or longer in a sunny place, like on a windowsill, and shake it up once a day. So I'm going to, uh, it looks like the oil only needs a couple more centimeters up, but it looks like I got all the air bubbles out of there. Oops. Oh, it smells so good. And they smell the grapeseed oil. This will be a nice cream or moisturizer for your skin. You can add it to creams or you can just leave it um, by itself. I love making all natural products and um, I'd rather just make them instead of paying a lot of money uh, in the store because you really don't know what you're getting in the store while you're making it. You know exactly what you're getting. Okay, I think I'm going to add a little bit more grapeseed oil. I have a brand new bottle that I'm going to open. And I got these grapeseed oil at Big Lots. I don't know if you have a Big Lots in your town or not, but um, I bought this one a long time ago. It was $3.50. This was probably uh, last year sometime, so it was 12 months or longer, and now it's $5.00. And so I was uh, a little bit shocked that it was um, as, as expensive as it was, but um, that happens. Grapeseed oil is very, very good for your skin. Okay, so now I filled it to the top. And like I said again, you want to get all the air bubbles out. So that's all I'm doing right now. There's a few air bubbles in there. So I'm just gently taking this popsicle stick and just uh, making sure there's no more air bubbles before I close it up. All right. Okay, so it's filled to the top, as you can see. I'm trying to just flatten it out right like that. I'm going to put the cap on and seal this up. And I do, however, see, and I got some on the stick here. I do, I thought I saw an air bubble, but it doesn't look like it now. It just looks like extra oil. Yep. Okay, so now it's going to be closed up. And there you have it. You have your homemade herbal infused rose. 
And what you're gonna do each day, you're just gonna shake it up like that. You're gonna let it sit like this for six weeks and then you'll strain it off. And then you'll have your own rose infused oil that you can use to put into creams or to put into um, as a facial, facial serum. You can do that. You can uh, do a lot with it. So there you get, have it. Um, this amount, this pipe size cost me practically, I would say just 350, you know, that was about it. This whole bottle was 350 and it was half of that. So the bottle alone, these, um, these containers, I actually got them on sale for a whole case for $2 because Walmart was trying to get rid of the pint size. There was one that broke, I think that was in it. So they couldn't sell it as a full case. Um, so I got these only for $2 for seven. So there you have it. I mean, less than $5 for a herbal infused oil. We're going to let this sit for six weeks. I will shake it up once a day. I'm going to leave it on my windowsill and in six weeks, we will strain it off and I will show you how it looks. Okay, so now I'm pouring the mixture into the container. I have a popsicle stick and I also have tongs. Um, and I've got a glove just in case I need um, to use my hands. What I'm gonna do now is the container already is getting pretty full so I want to go ahead and remove this so I can get as much of the oil as you can see the oil is already coming up and this is where the uh, tongs come in very handy so if you don't want it to get messy you can use the tongs to just go ahead and squeeze out the infused oil I normally use my hands to squeeze it through and sometimes I don't it just depends how I feel but I like to keep it as um, sterile as possible okay so we have some more. What I think I'm gonna do is empty this out on here so I can still use the container The uh, if I can get it out of here. So much for Okay, so I need to put this back in there. So much for it being sterile. But I'm the only one using this, so. But if you're going to give it to gifts or give it for gifts or anything, I do suggest you being as sterile as possible and, and using gloves and et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So you can use this oil directly on your face. You can use it in conjunction with making some creams and lotions and uh, roses are just very healthy for your skin. And if this doesn't smell very strong, you can also do it that way too. I do, however, like to use the tongs. It's just easier. And if you want to use um, it for another batch, you can uh, save these rose petals for a second batch also. But there you have it infused rose oil very easy to do and actually this set out I let it set out a little bit more than six weeks the longer you let it set the more infused it will be so depending upon the strength of the smell um, 
and you want to use a carrier oil that doesn't have a smell to it um, I used grapeseed oil and the only reason why I used grapeseed oil because it has great properties for your skin almond oil also has great properties for your skin they're very similar to grapeseed oil so it's just your preference um, but there is a smell with the grapeseed oil as being a carrier and let's see if this smells good now I can't smell the the grape seed at all is a hint of it does hint have a hint of rose to it so there you have it you're all natural do-it-yourself rose infused oil this will last for a very very long time for at least a couple years thanks for watching